when a traffic signal turns yellow, most drivers can either pass through or stop safely. But some are left in the dilemma zone, where a choice must be made to either risk running a red light or stop short and risk being rear-ended. In an effort to reduce crashes at intersections, YDOT has begun installing new systems which adjust timing of signals based on approaching traffic. The dilemma zone is fairly new technology and we just started probably two years ago putting them in. But there was an extensive testing period to see if they would really, how that's working. The new technology uses dynamic tracking to evaluate individual vehicles based on size, speed and distance. What this allows us to do, this system, is to look at the cues of traffic coming in and say, oh, here's a gap and we can safely go turn yellow now and that'll alleviate that uh, rear end potential. It'll hopefully uh, cut down on red light running. Installation has begun at more than 40 locations throughout the state, targeting intersections with higher speeds and heavier truck traffic. Anything from 40 miles an hour up is what the Dilemma Zones works for. It's really not as effective, uh, it's slower speeds, we really wouldn't get the safety payback for that. Reminding you to drive safely and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.